What was your home country again one more time? Uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. And you fled out to your parents were killed, correct, sir? Yes, sir. My parents were killed. And what are you doing in Houston? What are you doing in Houston now, sir? So I go to school and uh, I work for part time also. And actually, um, I do also running, so that's occasional. Okay. Yeah. I must see music is my first priority. I wanna take it to the next level because it's something I was born with. My dad bought me guitar when I was a little young, little boy, and uh, I had an opportunity to serve at his church. And that spirit he kept living in me. So now I, I need it to put my music around and so my voice could be heard. Yeah. Even help kids who are sitting in a situation mm -hmm. like that. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay. What are you studying okay. right now? Uh, I'm doing uh, computer science. Which university? Uh, I'm still at HCC, HCC but uh, okay. I'm, I'm thinking it to transfer to you of okay. yeah. And so, why Houston? Uh, actually, I never dreamed of coming to the United States because it's a, when you're up because somewhere you think is, to get there is hard. Mm -hmm. So, and then in a refugee camp, we do interview, we don't know where we're going. Right. So, and then they send us like a proving letter that some country has accepted you. So that's why I found out that, that I will come to the United States. And then by that, that time then, I didn't know what, what state or city. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like maybe two months before, that's why I heard that I would come to Houston. And I didn't know Houston. I knew Los Angeles, I knew New York, those kind of big city. Right. So, but, and then I came to Houston. I left in Houston. I liked it. It's, it's a really great city, somewhere to live in. Your, your future to be going somewhere if you... You work hard and uh, be smart. What are some challenges that you face? Uh, some challenges for us the refugees is when we come we have to work, you know. And uh, to get the opportunity to go to school full time is hard because you have to work and then pay your tuition, you know, pay your your, your bills. And then so most of the refugees they don't go to school. Because of that that case, they can't they can't afford to to their bills and then go to school. So they have like to work full time, it's like a regular job. And then to find the time to go to school will be hard for them. So except if you willing to work hard, no sleeping, I can sleep for four hours a day. You sleep four hours a day? Yeah, I don't have the time to sleep because I have to work, I have to go to school, I have to do my own. I have to write my music just because I'm passionate with what I wanna be right. in the future. So that's give that gives me like a, you know, but it's very difficult. How many hours do you work in there? Uh, hours that I work for me. So, uh, so like sometimes I take like a 30 hours, that would be like a good time if I, I see I'm short to like for money. Right. But mostly I work like 20, 28 hours. If I don't have like a bunch of stuff, okay. what do you work right now? No, I work at the same time. So how do you balance, you know, working full time, paying for your own rent, your own bills, and being full time, paying tuition full time? How do you balance all that? That's that's what I think. It's something hard, which is pushing me to see if I can make in my music. Maybe that would be give me like a, a lot of time to to pursue my my school, my degree, and then do my music as a project, as a, as, as a job. So, but this kind of working full time, go to school five full time, man, is very hard for me. You know, I don't have like a time to sleep. But because I'm passionate with that, I have to do it. I don't have any choice. So, what kind of music do you like listening to? So, pretty much I listen to Christian music. That's my kind of my backbone. I, I, I've been raised in a Christian family. My, my dad was a pastor. So then um, I grew up to sing for God and uh, I had 
but I were like a good, I, I were good in the soccer actually. When I was playing, I played the soccer a lot, so around my parents. I didn't follow much in the Christian. So once my parents disappeared, living alone in a very bad situation, that's where I started thinking about the God my, my parents have served. So then I decided to to go back in there and take the guitar. That was in a refugee camp actually. So that's why it's the spirit of writing Christian music because they are kind of comforting and uh, supporting. That's why I decided to say, okay, let me keep in this because that's where I can find the peace. So mostly I listen to Christian music and that's mostly the kind of music I write, Christian. And then life also, like you heard my song, God Bless America, yeah. is a song I wrote dedicated to America for what they do to help the kids like us and pursue their future. And uh, I wrote like the kind of my own life. The French song I sang is a life, is a song I wrote for my parents after they disappeared. So I wrote different kind of stuff, but mostly I listen to Christian music. Do you have a favorite artist? Yeah, mostly my favorite artist is uh, the, the Christian. Most, uh, I like Chris Tomlin. Uh, if you know him, Chris Tomlin. Chris Tomlin. Yes. And uh, I listen to his song a lot. And then when I'm listening to secular music, sometimes I listen to John Legend. And then I like also rock music, but I don't know any rock. It's just a song that it gives me a country, mostly like a country music, but also like a rock and contemporary music. Okay. So that's the kind of stuff that's uh, I listen to. And how are you, sir? Hmm? How are you? I'm 24. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Yeah. So you want to make it big as a Christian? Well, yeah, right? <laughs> pretty much I want to make it big in that, in that field. That, that's my goal and my passion. Yeah, and go around the world, inspire other kids, encourage them, go to school first and tell them that they can make it. You never know in life. You know? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll nice see talking you. to you. You have a good day, okay? Good, yeah. Good. Let me give you my last name. Sure. You have you here, right? So make sure. Okay, sounds great. Thank you so much. All right. Welcome, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's Emmanuel. Gotcha. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day. Okay. So good. Yeah. Hey. Thanks. Yeah. So, hi. I'm Mark Tembro. I write with Examiner.com. Oh, yes. That's a separate paper from here, so I didn't oh, okay. want to interrupt. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I also you don't want to make you have to say the same thing twice. So oh, okay. I yeah. have been videotaping you. Uh -huh. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, could I ask a couple other questions? Uh, yeah, 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 sure. What, what church do you go to now? Uh, I go to Grace Bible Church. Grace Bible Church. It's, uh, yeah, it's in the, in the Heights. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. You know, 14th, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. So it's, it's Baptist, is it? Uh, pretty much. Maybe they are like a kind of Baptist or Revival Church because mm -hmm. it's like a kind of like a new mm -hmm. church. It's been mm -hmm. there like for 10 years. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, yes. now just so we adjust that a little bit. Um, Okay, so, and is that the, is similar to the church you were in, in, well, let's see, you were, you, well, you grew up in the, um, um, Congo? Yes, uh, I grew uh, up in Congo. Yes. Okay, and then you went to, is it Burundi, or? No, no, or, uh, uh, it's a democratic republic. Yes. And after that, when you left? Oh, when I left, uh, I fled my country to Uganda. Mm -hmm. That's where I lived there as mm -hmm. a refugee okay. for almost three okay. years. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you prefer French? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I speak okay. French also. Okay. 